Ladies, what's the craziest guy you've dated? In my senior year of high school, one of my mutual friends introduced me to a guy three years older than me. We got along quite well, and eventually started dating. Since he was a couple years older, he told me he was in college. He had a nice sports car and took me all around town, and always insisted on paying. We'd go to the amusement park, hibachi restaurants, karaoke, we ate out about four times a week, and he'd never let me pay. Summer came and went and soon, I started college. After I realized how expensive school, books, rent, food and life in general was, I started to question where he got his money. I guess I was a naive high school kid who didn't understand how expensive life was. He told me he was in an internship program at his prestigious school, and got a very high-paying finance job, and they pay him very well. The school he told me he went to was about an hour away from mine, and he would often visit me. One day he told me he had plans to go to another city. I knew his old girlfriend was going to be there but he assured me that it was some other huge event where tons of mutual friends were all going. We had planned a double date with his best friend and his best friend's girlfriend the day after he got back. He gets back from his trip and his attitude towards me completely changes. He wasn't a nice gentleman and loving guy any longer. For example, on the double date, I went to the bathroom and he was deep in conversation with his best friend, but as soon as he sees me, he mouths I'll tell you later as I'm walking towards the table. On the date, it was the first time I'm meeting this friend so I'm trying to not make it awkward. His friend keeps bragging about how he lifts at the gym over dinner, so in a joking tone, I turn to the girl and say wow, lucky you. At that comment, my then boyfriend lost it. He started telling me that I'm ungrateful and I should be lucky that he's dating me, not his friends. Girlfriend. I started explaining how I was just joking but he cut me off and told me to just shut up. He was my ride home so I just held back my tears and bit my tongue. I couldn't believe that this guy who would drive over an hour to see me just a week ago would humiliate me and snap at me like that. Again, I was young, stupid, naive so I didn't address it on the way home, thinking that maybe he had a bad time in the other city or a bad day. A week passes and he texts me, my friend is in a situation and needs some advice. He is dating a girl locally, but he's also in love with a girl from another city. What should he do? I knew he was talking about himself so I flat out told him to dump me and go date the girl from the city. He had the audacity to ask me how did you know I was talking about me? Anyway we finally broke up but he decided to drive to me that night for one final talk. He admitted to cheating on me when he went to the city. We were at a restaurant when he told me this. I was so upset that I flung the receipt at him. He was so mad at me for disrespecting him because I flung a piece of paper at him, he scolded me and yelled at me and told me to never disrespect him again. A week after all of this goes down, his best friend from the double date messages me on Facebook and asks me how I'm doing. I honestly replied that I wasn't very good. He then told me that my ex-boyfriend wasn't the person he told me he was. Apparently his grades were so bad in high school that he had to drop out, so he forged a fake acceptance letter and mailed it to himself. His parents were so impressed that their pathetic son made it into college, that they bought him a car. They also wire about $20,000 to him every year for classes, and rent, and that is where he gets his money from. In his free time, he works a part-time job as a security guard for more money.